Hey guys, Rick Queen here with another LEGO minifigure collection for you guys. This time, obviously, we have the Riddler. And as you can see, there are seven different versions. And before we take a closer look at each one, I want you all to tell me in the comments which collection you want to see next. There are plenty more uh, minifigure collections I can do, not just from, you know, the Batman theme or the DC theme, but all different ones, Ninjago, Marvel, Star Wars, whatever you want to see, just tell me in the comments and I will try and get to as many of those as I can. Now, let's check out the Riddlers. Uh, the first one that came out was this one here. Back in, uh, it was in the original Lego Batman line between 2006 to 2008 and it came out in, I believe, two different sets. Um, and there's no back printing, no second face, um, and it just kind of has one of those old basic hair pieces. But when this came out, it was the only version of Riddler, so I think it was really good. Um, it was awesome just to even have the Riddler, period, so that was awesome. And then whenever DC Superheroes came out in 2012, uh, we started getting all these other versions after that. Um, so the first new version that came out after that line was this version of the Riddler, which was kind of cool because it did have the hat, which I like a lot. I love the little question mark on there, and his belt looks awesome. And this version, you can see, did have a little bit of back printing, um, still no second face. And actually, the whole front row, there's no second faces. The whole back row, there is second faces. So we'll just clear that up real quick. And then, so the next version of Riddler that we got was this little micro version, which actually came out in a board game. And I believe that board game had eight different little micro figures in it. If I remember right, I think it was eight. Um, and I don't know if I ever reviewed that for you guys. I have it sitting around here somewhere. So if you guys want to see that, let me know and I will uh, get that out and show it to you guys. Uh, but this is the little micro version of the Riddler. And then this version. Uh, I remember when it came out a few years ago, I thought it was really cool. I really liked, um, you know, the mixture of the dark green and the light green. I think it just kind of adds a little, I don't know, a little pizzazz to it or something. And giving him the green hat then uh, I think looked a lot better uh, with the purple question mark on there it was cool. And then some really cool back printing on there. I just really liked the outfit uh, that this Riddler had. So after that, we got this version of the Riddler, which uh, probably most resembles uh, the Jim Carrey version of the Riddler um, when he played the Riddler in the movie. And there's the back. Like I said, this is the first one that had a double-sided face for the Riddler. It's not exactly like uh, Jim Carrey's version, but it is similar, I think. It reminds me of that one at least. And then the last two both came out for uh, the Lego Batman movie. So we have the uh, this one here, obviously, was the one from Arkham. That's why he's in the orange prison jumpsuit. And then we have this version, which is just awesome. Um, but first, let me show you the one from Arkham. Uh, now, basically, all the prisoners had pretty much the same, um, you know, jumpsuit on. It's just an orange jumpsuit, and it says Arkham on the back. And he's got his green gloves on. And the awesome hat that does have the actual hair on or attached to it, basically. And he does have a double-sided face. Now, you'll, you'll see on... The other one, it has the same face and the same hat with hair, but uh, this one has, you know, him in his kind of regular outfit and it's got the question marks all over it. And of course there's the hat that I talked about. It's got a light green question mark on it. And there's the second face, just like the other one. But what I think is especially awesome about this one is the cane. I know um, several times in the past when I was reviewing uh, old older sets that the Riddler came in, I always wanted them to make a Riddler cane. I mean, that was just so iconic Riddler. I thought he needed that so much. And so I was 
so happy when they finally decided to make this. Now this little green piece just attaches to the top of, you know, one of these stick pieces, which is perfect. You know, it just fits right there. You could even, you know, change the color of the cane. I think the gold color is perfect for it, but you could change it if you wanted to. Um, I'm just so happy that they finally made this piece. Uh, I think he just really needed his question mark cane. It's just, in my mind, it is just perfect. Now, feel free to disagree with me if you want to, but this right here, I think, is the best Riddler um, so far. Now, they're always making new versions, so they might come out with an even better one one day, but for the moment, uh, I think that's the best one. Um, so tell me in the comments which one you like the best or which one you like the least. Um, or maybe there's parts from each one that you would combine to make the perfect one. Like, maybe I might even take this cane and give it to this one. Um, and maybe the hat too. Maybe the hat and the cane and give it to this one. And that might be my perfect one actually. Because I, I still really like the outfit on this one. But anyway, <laughs> tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Hey, before you go, click here to subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell by my name to turn on notifications. Or click here to see another one of our videos you might like.